an AI rap battle between myself and call YouTuber me Drew the Drake. Man. Create scenarios Drake. while others only can. Geopolitics is the game I play, crushing nations in an alternate way. So here comes Drake, an internet sensation, obsessed with ideologies, <laughs> creating tribulation. This Talk is all you want about your metapolitics. I'm busy orchestrating <laughs> world conflicts. You play with theories, I play with borders. Your content's chaos, mine's in orders. I see the world in a different scope. Why is Through AI so games, good? This is. Hope. I'm Dreg, an anti-centrist threat. During all your stories aren't finished yet. <laughs> This stuff is just getting too powerful. Stories Honestly, what's yet. really incredible you play is your that games, moving armies around, the, uh, the AI by by knows you may control the fate of nations, how but I'm to say my whole creation. last name correctly. In your world, That's it's about power and glory. In mine, it's about the now. ideological story. You think in terms of East and West, but I see beyond passing the test. In this ideological spectrum I reign, you're just an actor in your own game. I might be an actor, but at least I'm the star. While you're lost in thought, I've gone far. You're busy debating <laughs> while I'm creating a world of difference. Okay, maybe not all the lines are golden by the AI. Amuse, but I challenge people with my views. <laughs> this battle is done. You had your fun. But in the ideological realm, I have won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the lines definitely go hard. Others, I feel like the AI needs some work. The AI needs a ghostwriter. I'm now just realizing I don't think I have a single image of me on the entire internet that makes me look like a rapper. I look like a lot of things, but a rapper is certainly not one of them. The person in that video was Drake. I've been watching his videos for a very long time. Please go subscribe. Me, when the people are approaching with the flag of the municipality of Lake Cebu. No, 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 no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I recently reviewed what might literally be the worst flag of all time, and it actually comes from the Philippines, unfortunately. I still can't really confirm if this is just a parade banner or if this is the actual flag. Of course, according to Wikipedia, it is the official flag, but, you know, it's it's Wikipedia. If you ever want to know what Drudernell nightmares are like, it is actually people approaching me with this flag. American Apocalyptic Games versus Russian Apocalyptic Games. Wait. It's the same. That's why ours just aren't on the same level. It's just way more real here. European medieval warfare. Let's have a few hundred men wait outside a castle for a couple years. I'll Meanwhile, Chinese I'll medieval warfare. Um, definitely a lot more exciting. I'll tell you that much for sure. Way more action was going on here. Now, this looks like a blast. A lot of the times, it really was just this simple for the most part. Can you imagine how boring that must have been to be sieging a castle in Europe? Kind of just stand there and wait for everyone inside to run out of food. POV, you're an Ottoman soldier in 1888, trapped between the border of Abu Dhabi and Doha, and you start hearing these from both sides. Oh, I like that this one actually has an explanation. Honestly, the context doesn't even really matter. These drums are terrifying enough. You already know things ain't gonna be good with these sounds. Quote, India is safe. Meanwhile, also India. Uh, this looks perfectly safe to me. This large truck is just trying to give this littler car a little bit of a boost. Maybe it ran out of gas, too. To me, it just seems like there's a lot of people willing to help in India. Thank you, kind citizens. Me googling, how long does it take to become fluent in Swedish? Meanwhile, Google just showing me how to translate from English. How long does it take to become fluent? Thank you, this is exactly what I needed. What's funny is this works with literally any language. It'll just give you the translation instead. Yo, guys, that new Cars movie finna be insane. When's Cars 4 dropping? Cars 4 is about to be the most anticipated movie of all time with this image. You know what's crazy? This car is actually not that far away from where I live. Or at least one of them is not. There were several Hilter mobiles around, I think. But apparently there are only five left in existence. And I saw one of them. It's not really something you want to take a photo in front of, though. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? UK! It all makes sense now. From now on, if I ever see one of my friends crying, I'm just going to send them the emoji of the Union Jack and everything's going to be fine. What do you mean I didn't comfort you when you were sad? I literally sent you the British flag. Another one that decided to not respond after that. Cringe, American voting, yes, equal representation. No, I need more representation. Versus European voting. San Marino, you have 33,000 inhabitants. Germany, you have 83 million. You'll get equal representation. Meanwhile, everyone agreeing, yes, this is how it should be. This is brought to us by the Eurovision Song Contest. What's funny about this is this is actually how the US Senate actually works, though. The rest of the world. It's 35 degrees Celsius. It's so hot. I know. I can't breathe. Meanwhile, Iraqis at 53 degrees Celsius or 127 degrees Fahrenheit. Mmm, 
this chai is so cold. I know it can't even burn our mouths. Yeah, clearly the Iraqis are just built a little bit different. The hottest season in this country lasts for about four months, and the average daily high temperature is 102 degrees Fahrenheit. But in July, it's usually 112. No, thank you. I'll burn to a crisp in five seconds. I'm tired of people laughing when they see my coat of arms. I wonder what this man's coat of arms could possibly be. Oh! <laughs> Oh no, that sure is uh, intimidating. There's nothing more intimidating than frog. Please, please tell me this is a coat of arms from Poland. What's funny is frogs in heraldry really isn't all that crazy. It happens all the time. I can see why too. I've recently developed a strange frog obsession. They're literally like little aliens. They drink water through the pores in their stomach. Who would you pick? You can only pick one. Tiger shark will cuddle you and he loves you forever. Or two, the czar, the most largest nuke can destroy one city. Why not both? Pretty sure if I drop the czar on some random city, I'll probably get a tiger shark out of the radiation in a few years and he can begin his love for me forever. I'd probably need to drop it on a coastal city though. So-called history nerds when you tell them that history is not only WW2. WW2 is like the gateway to becoming a history nerd. You start off with that subject and then eventually you find yourself up at 3 a.m. researching 1700 sea shanties. French people and war under players after deciding that rioting is the only way to cause significant change. They aren't wrong. Oh, no, no, no. They are absolutely right. For some reason, only these two communities have figured it out, though. My country, when the PM gives himself over a 100% increase in salary while underpaying his public workers. Meanwhile, France, when the retirement age gets increased by two years. And this isn't even the only thing. I feel like there's a big protest every single year in France. They couldn't be like this even if they tried. Jay-Z and Alicia Keys in 2009, doing their best to convince me that New York isn't an urban hellscape infested with rats, rude pedestrians, and homeless psychos. And it is still the anthem to this day in New York. You can't even go into that city without hearing it at least once. I can't even really explain why I like New York so much. Maybe I'm already really used to all those bad things coming from LA anyways. Thomas Jefferson, all right guys, sign your names on the declaration pretty small so everyone has enough space to, meanwhile, John Hancock. Yo, what was that? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy taking up all this space right here. I guess when your signature is actually the best, you're allowed to take up as much space as you want. Almost like everyone else here was even trying. Imagine trying to follow up this right next to it. I would also make my signature as small and insignificant as possible. <laughs> Yo guys, frick zodiac signs. What self-proclaimed Roman Empire are you? All right, let's go through the choices. We have the French, the Holy Roman Empire, the Gauls of 476 AD, the Papal State, France again, Byzantium, I think this is Russia or Austria, World War II Italy, World War II Italy again, one of those ones I mentioned before, the Ottomans or Turkey. I'm not sure about these other two. Four, five, six, all these. Which one y'all choosing? I feel like most people are gonna go with Byzantium here, but I do want to be different. I'm saying Brazil, since they have the largest population of Roman Catholics. There's nothing more Roman than Brazil. Think about it. Come to Brazil and all roads lead to Rome. Essentially, they have the same meaning behind it. They just aren't looking deep enough. Choose two. The rest will try to oof you. 150 cavemen, 75 Roman legionaries, 50 Vikings, 25 French musketeers, I think, 35 Sam Samurai warriors, 40 metal dudes, 10 soldiers from WW1, 5 from WW2, or just a single guy right now. This is actually really hard. I do know which one I'm not picking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just feel like you need some sort of projectile weapon. These dudes probably won't move enough. They'll want to stand in line. Obviously, all these up here are just going to eat that up. There's always jokes about how the samurai didn't just use samurai swords. A lot of the times, they were using things like this. kind of want to pick the 75 Roman legionaries, to be honest, but it all depends depends on where the field of battle is taking place. I'm choosing the Romans and the WW1 guys. It's pretty clear why Britain won WW2. Scissors beats paper. Old skinny mustache man with the classic mistake, always picking paper. Churchill was just two steps ahead, I guess. Luckily this guy wasn't around back then. Psst. Are you sleeping? Yes. Now shut up. In what language do deaf people think in? Oh my goodness. I didn't even think about this. They must be thinking in the language of the gods more than likely. Or do they think in sign language. Is that possible? They're too OP. Watching tourism ads for your own country. Yeah, that is always a weird feeling. I don't care where you're coming from. Even when I see tourism ads to come to California, it literally feels like false advertising, I'll be honest. Kid, mom, this food is bad. I won't
don't eat it. Western moms, sorry, sweetheart. I'll try to make it better next time. Meanwhile, Balkan moms. The kids are literally about to be zapped with their laser eyes. All Balkan moms get this ability as soon as they have their first child. They can only use it on their own kids, though, just so they're not too OP. Americans, why is my download speed so slow? It's only at 40 megabytes. Meanwhile, Australians. Yeah, I've always heard that Australians have pretty poor internet, at least in a lot of the places. I'm sure there's a lot of places that have good internet, though, of course. Australia is now ranked 74th in the world when it comes to fixed broadband speeds. That is pretty low, I feel like, for Australia. 74th in the world? Like I said, I gotta imagine it's probably because Australia is very large, but the population is kind of spread out. So I'm confident, like, pockets have to have good internet, right? Oh, yeah, gender reveals be like, something tells me this one is gonna be a boy. I can't believe how long it took me in life to learn about the demon core. I was like obsessed with it for like two weeks there. Unfortunately, nuclear cores are only good for gender reveals when you have a boy though, cause flash a blue light, right? Or can it do red? I don't know. I guess if you let it go for long enough, it'll... Anyways. <laughs> New York City is the city that never sleeps. Me after putting 300 kilograms of melatonin in the city's water supply. Yeah, we're gonna see exactly how long that lasts. This literally sounds like some Batman villainry going on. Problem is, uh, they're gonna sleep for like, what, one night and then they're gonna continue to not sleep? Is it really worth it, Joker? Astronomers are bad at name, MFers. If coming up with a unique name for each of the trillion of known astronomical objects was a test, <laughs> you get a super F, yes. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this meme was probably made for me. I do like to joke around about why astronomers are so not unique when it comes to naming things in the sky. It's because there are like trillions of objects out there. You kind of have to go with naming stuff like this. And big thanks to my patrons. I am the kidnapper and I've moved Drew to a Patagonian Australia village. Australia is real. Drew I'm not a paid actor. The grandpa. slow depressing Drew portal Nell collapse. Asher, Asher, Asher to Carl Carl West. West. The Reagan's the Nardo Archaeology. Jack Schrader. I've almost the the managed to escape the imposter. Robert Pai. Kids. Best girl. The great Polish. Wicked. Why is it real Drew? Pay his imposter. $20.